Gray is here uh-huh. on the Blaze Radio Network. And thanks for joining us. 888 900 Pat Unleashed on Twitter. Yesterday was Super Tuesday. And uh, you can imagine what happened. <laughs> Just exactly what you imagined <laughs> happened. It was super? Uh, it was super, yeah. Well, Donald Trump crushed everywhere except... Oh, I couldn't see that coming. Vermont. Uh, Nikki Haley won Vermont. Yeah. Like, 49 to 45%. But, of course, Vermont <laughs> allows Democrats to come over and vote. Exactly. And so that's what happened, obviously. So she barely won, <clears throat> even with the help of Democrats. Yeah. Okay. Right. <laughs> so, with her big win last night in Vermont, coupled with the D.C. victory, oh, yeah. where up two, to 2,000 2, people voted. Mandate. Ooh-wee. <laughs> so, she's got a big announcement at 10 o'clock this morning. Oh, to no doubt uh, continue this incredible fight that, since she's on a winning streak. That's now. what I believe. She's, she said she's in it for the duration. I know. She, she said that. Yes, she did. Everybody is reporting that she's dropping out today at 10 o'clock. So. 10 a.m. Eastern. Yep. So, nine, oh, 9 o'clock our time then. Mm-hmm. Uh, 8 Mountain Time <laughs> yeah. and, uh, and 7 Pacific. What time is it in America, Samoa, where Joe Biden was crushed last night? It's uh, tomorrow at 9.30. Oh, I, I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, who do you lose to, know. Jeffy? Uh, what's his name? Jason Palmer. Jason Palmer. Who, who we've oh, obviously... Jason Palmer. Oh, we've talked Beat about Biden. Him ad oh, nauseum man. on this show. Oh, man. If I had a nickel for every time we talked about oh, Jason man. Palmer. Tell us about him, fire. Jeffy, because you know you're like a big Jason Palmer guy. Well, uh, at one point, I know he was uh, <laughs> at the head of the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. <laughs> oh, oh, no. seriously? So, oh, no. So uh, he's got to be, oh, gotta be no. a, a strong. A wonderful man. A wonderful man. A wonderful, wonderful man. man. Uh-huh. Uh, who doesn't want there to be really all I need a population on this planet. <laughs> Thank you. Or something. Oh, gosh. <laughs> so, huge wins for Donald Trump. Uh, last night, he crushed her everywhere. I mean, I was looking at the uh, at some of the numbers before I went to sleep last night, and it was already a, an absolute bloodbath, obviously. Uh, so... If she finally has she finally seen the writing on the wall? That's what they're reporting this <clears throat> morning. I don't know that I buy it. <laughs> what is Jeffy <laughs> refuses she to, to go believe? with this thing? Where I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like she's. <laughs> I feel like she doesn't care. She's just in it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, she doesn't seem to care. You know, she must not have political aspirations for the future because right. you know the Republicans are done with her now. I mean, the fact that she stayed in this long and screwed things up and cost them money. They don't like that. That's true. Neither party likes that. So if you're done, they want you out. Okay? That's why Ron DeSantis left so early. Yeah. To preserve his future. Mm. That man is going to run again. Uh, and he should. Yes. So he got out when the getting was good. Hold on. And that was right after Iowa. Yeah. What are you, what are you, bye-bye. What are you talking about? This looks like she's, she's not within striking distance. <laughs> Oh, do we have the count now? Yeah, okay, 722 delegates for Donald Trump. A whopping 46 yeah. She's right now for there. Nikki Haley. She's knocking on the door. She come back. You never, knocking on you the never door. <laughs> those other those 722 oh, could go to her if uh, you know Trump goes to prison, right? Oh, well, wait, that's what no. she hopes. That's no. Yeah, that's her hope, and that's not going to happen, though. That's not going to happen. So not she a might big, as well uh, get out. A lot of big races uh, last night. Uh, love Mark Robinson in North Carolina. Love that guy. Yeah, that's guy. great. Lieutenant Governor, he's going to be That's great. Uh, the Republican choice uh, for governor. Okay. And, yeah. and hopefully he wins that race in the general mm-hmm. in uh, November. We'll see. Probably will. Uh, but yeah. here, here was Joy Reid on MSNBC last night talking about things. Uh, she's great. She's really terrific. But Republican voters don't vote that way. They don't vote based on economics or based on the benefits they're getting economically from the president. They're increasingly, from the Tea Party on, they're voting on race. They're voting on this idea of an invasion of brown people over the border. The (laughs) idea that they can't get whatever job they want. A black person got it. Therefore, drive all the blacks out of the colleges. Get rid of DEI. That is what they're voting on. They're just voting specifically on racial animus. At this stage, it isn't about economics. No. 
I didn't even realize that about me. Did did you realize that about you? I did you? not. I, I did not. didn't even realize it. Uh, so that's uh-huh. really weird. <laughs> it's really weird. I didn't realize yeah. all this time I've been voting on race. Yeah. I didn't care about the economy. I didn't care about anything else. But yeah. I was voting on race. Yeah. Huh. Wow. Sure, sure would be weird. a good morning to have a Blaze TV subscription. I'll say that. Really? Why? <laughs> yeah. It's a deal. A cultural appropriation going uh-huh. on. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, show her for a second. Okay. If you want to talk about cultural appropriate, is that what you're talking about? Uh, Joy Reid. Yeah, he's talking about Joy Reid. But yeah. I gotta, Let's see if we can get a you? still shot of Joy good. from last <laughs> night. She, good. she did have blonde hair. Okay, now it's mm. pink. Sure. Right, so I'm not sure what culture that is, but it's not hers. I know that. No, it's not. I, 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 will, I will say um, that, that uh, your hairstyle is just uh, lovely. What do you mean? Yeah, I know it is. Thank you. <laughs> I love the MSNBC <laughs> show. I meant to watch them last night because it, was, it was reported. It's entertainment. Well, well, yeah, because it was reported <clears throat> that their studios have been infested with bed bugs. Oh yeah, I and saw that. I wanted, <laughs> <that>. I wanted <laughs> bed bugs crawling across Joy Reid. Oh, wouldn't that at, be great? On well, live on is set. Is that because she's black? That's what you been. want for her. Wow. So you're rooting against her comfort, wow. and you're like, you want to wow. see her be miserable. I wow. Wish, wow. See how Tell me. Going. You see a bed bug crawling across that blonde hair it would not be. Well, it's awesome. pink now. Well, it's whatever, pink. yeah. So I, she's appropriating I someone just, like, else's culture now. Bugs be, on the it desk. Would be so good. Oh, that'd be great. Yeah, I'd love to see that. Rachel Maddow <laughs> slamming a bed bug. <laughs> that'd be great. Uh, all right. So uh, white people are voting based on race. Right. Yep. Not My economics. Gosh. Not economics. White Republicans. White Republicans, right. Yeah, yes. Not, not Democrats, because they're above that. Uh, what racism? I mean, it's just it's sheer absolutely. racism. Mm-hmm. I get, uh, man. By the way, I had my numbers. Uh, they weren't updated. <clears throat> I hit refresh. Whoa. There we go. Ooh, 1040 to 86. 1040 to 86, Trump over Haley. Okay. But so even all, closer. He, all he needs is 1215, right? Yeah. 12, so next 15. week it's going to be. It's, it'll be for sure over, even if she doesn't get out. Mm. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happens there. Uh, <laughs> meanwhile, uh, let's see. So, uh, of note, you did mention Mark Robinson, mm-hmm. North Carolina. Right. Uh, Adam Schiff <laughs> versus Steve Garvey in California. Now, Steve Garvey had a chance when there were three Democrats in the race. Does he have a chance when there's just one? I don't know. I don't think Man, so. Because Adam I'm Schiff, really, that I'm guy, I'm about that. Too. Yeah, what's... I thought it was closer. With I thought Garvey was actually ahead. Well, but... the thing that sucks is that it was <clears throat> Adam Schiff easily made it to the next round. Yeah. Which I don't know what you're doing. When people tell me there's hope for California, <clears throat> then I see a, a vote result like that, and I there's think there's no hope. No, there's not. No. And so we had to wait because it was almost Katie Porter versus Adam Schiff. In the second round. Yeah. So Garvey sneaks through, but like you said. Garvey sneaked through. Now it's just one-on-one, and there's no I chance. Know, and I, I don't think there's what any a, chance. I nightmare. would love it. I mean, Steve Garvey's a baseball hero. People love him, mm-hmm. uh, but they can't vote when it comes to, when push comes to shove in California. They can't vote for Republicans. Is he allowed to hold a bat while on stage during the debate? <laughs> I don't see why not. Cool. That would be as long awesome. as he doesn't hit him in the face with it. Although, well, oh, whoa, uh, where were you? Would going? that be a terrible thing? Oh my goodness! No, of course it oh, would. Of course it'd be a terrible, horrific. terrible thing. Right? Horrific. Yeah, horrific. I can't believe California didn't vote for Katie Bear or <clears throat> Katie Porter. That's his name. Yeah, Katie Porter. Her name. Yeah, that's her Katie name. Katie Porter. Katie yeah. Porter. Because she's the she's name. the husband beater. Yes. Right. Yeah, that's right. She's a lovely person. Oh lovely. man. Yeah. Hard to believe she didn't make it through. Almost she she almost did. I <laughs> mean. California. Oh, man. If you're a conservative in California, I don't know how you live there. Get I really don't. I don't know. You must be the loneliest people in the world in California. And they you don't are. think in California. Do you ever, I, I don't know how many times. Uh, did you ever make it with us to California you, events? No, but we have. But, but I've been to events. Uh, our, our Utah events <clears throat> brought a lot of California people to it yeah and uh they but, were all saying that you know they have their little pockets and yeah, northern california do. is conservative and, uh, right and you know i i you have to believe what they say but but it's like it's like people in a desert coming to an oasis <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> when you show up for them it's yes. it's great uh, i mean it's it's nice they give you a nice reception because it's like 
Again, it's manna from heaven for them <laughs> right. to have conservatives come and talk to them there. Oh, wait a second. Hold they a second. love it. What are the numbers, Chris? What? Uh, there's a new count. Uh, 1042 oh. to 92. Oh, oh, okay. Really? All right. He might so he might lock this up before the end of the show. <laughs> yeah. I mean, at this rate, <laughs> numbers he will. are still coming in, guys. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Ten forty-two to 1042 to ninety-two. Ninety-two. Okay. And and by the still, way, still it's close. Um, I mean, it's well, it's just neck and neck. Closer. Hardly neck and any <laughs> space between them. All right. Uh, pe- pretty big news yesterday uh, as it relates to a Senate seat in November with Kirsten Cinema. Uh, announcing that uh, she's yeah. not going to run for re-election. So right. she was, this was going to be a three-way race. It was going to be Republican, Democrat, and she was running as an independent. So now that they she They think this is going to help the Republican. Uh, oh, oh no, that, Big, that's not what I think. No? Really? Yeah, I mean, if you're... Uh, that's what I was reading. Okay, good. Oh, good. Then I'm going I, I with think, this. I think that she, because she's so moderate mm. that she was swaying some of the Republicans her way. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so that's we'll Carrie see. Lake is running for that. Yeah, that's Carrie what I Lake thought. Is, yeah, yeah, Carrie's yeah. going to... She's, she's crazy. She's the front runner, right? She's crazy. Is she currently uh, the front runner? I think so, yeah. Is she really? Mm. In Arizona? Yeah. All right, we'll see. Uh, uh, the numbers that I saw... I hope so. She was the front runner. That'd be a nice pickup for and a Republican I, Senate. I believe that she... Uh, I think she got a big bump with John Corner and... and Endorsed her. So, oh yeah, because people love John Cornyn. What is that? Man, (laughs) oh, the love and respect, especially Texans have for John Cornyn. That, to be honest, I I know. know, You know what, John? No, thank you. Yeah, no, exactly. No, she should have said. She should have. But Cornyn, you know, I I don't know. Do you remember back in two thousand, two thousand one, when we first moved here? People loved Cornyn. For real, because he was an actual conservative at the beginning. Man, mm-hmm. the 24 years he has spent in office. Got have, sucked up into the swamp, man. He sure did. So the sure Arizona did. primary is <clears throat> on March 19th. March so, but 19th. I mean, but she's, okay. she's far and away. Is she way ahead? Yeah. yeah. So. Oh, good. Okay. Well, that's going to be but a the nice The latest poll shows there. her at 37, the Democrat at 33. So mm. we'll see what happens. Not four points. I, I'm looking forward to the first poll uh, now that mm. now that uh, Cinema's dropping out. Yeah. So this was before Cinema dropped out. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Well, we'll see. Ago. Yeah. We'll see. Uh, also here in Texas, Colin Allred versus Ted Cruz for uh, Texas Senate. <clears throat> Ted, uh, I I don't know. I haven't heard any buzz on Colin Allred. Democrats thought they had a real winner when they well, selected uh, yeah, him. Yeah, they, they, they're pumping him uh, you know, <clears throat> with a lot of money. So, but I don't get any buzz that Colin Allred. Uh, do we know what the what are the polls saying about that? I, I don't I got, know. I see his commercials. I see his commercials all over local, especially here in DFW. Yeah, you know him being a you know former. NFL uh, Dallas, Dallas guy. Cowboy, Ooh. and uh, he's all Ooh. about uh, this last commercial I saw. In fact, last night watching a show, he's all about uh, hey, abortion. Okay, so Jeez. abortion is huge. That's mm-hmm. great. Yeah, Here. let's keep killing babies. We got we to get abortion. Don't back. tell me he's ahead of. Is he ahead of Ted? <laughs> no way. Okay, so ah, there was a poll in early February where Cruz led Allred forty-six to thirty-two, but then oh. there was a poll uh, two weeks ago. Uh, University of Texas at Tyler Center for Opinion Research. I don't know anything about this poll other than it's 41-41, all red and cruise. Oh, my gosh. So from 14 points in one poll to tied in another? Again. We'll have to ask. uh, Now that we're through the primary. We'll ask Stu about the Mm -hmm. University of Texas Tyler (laughs) poll and see how. You guys, maybe you don't agree, Mm. that the trajectory is there. I don't know exactly when it happens. But Texas is going to go blue in one form or fashion in the near future. Well, I mean, the last 10 years since we've been here. I've been many, saying that forever, though. I know. but I've said ta- it since I first got how here. How many times have we said, uh, and this happened in Texas? Yeah, I know. Yeah, it, it happens a lot. We say it a lot. We have said it but since we moved here. Man. They it's haven't been able to swing it yet. And we got millions I know. and millions of illegals here. That they're counting on voting for him and turning <clears throat> Texas blue. They're counting on it. Uh, but I don't know if it's going to happen. We'll see. And, and as long as we'll we're see. running through um, uh, senators today, uh, Bob Menendez, uh, he what did he got? More charges. More charges yesterday. Now, yep. he, now he's in bed with, uh, is it Qatar? I mean, this guy. 
terrible. He should just leave. Yeah. I mean, it is getting ugly. <laughs> it is. It is. <laughs> I mean, you talk about corruption. This guy is up to his neck in it. I mean, <laughs> these are just charges. <laughs> that he was indicted go. on 12 new criminal charges. Right, Trust and church. we say we talk about this all the time. He's been convicted of nothing. Okay, so mm-hmm. let's keep that in mind. Thank you. But, I mean, they found gold bullion in his <laughs> home. Yeah. <laughs> Who among us? <laughs> Thank you. Why can't you have that in your house? You Is can. that illegal? You can. Okay, you Mr. Can. Mr. How come you can't, uh, people can't travel with cash? It shouldn't maybe be okay. stamped with, this came from Egypt for your help <laughs> on our policies. I mean, the world <laughs> shouldn't have been stamped with that. Countries all over the world have gold. <laughs> Yeah, they do. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Countries hey, all over the world. All over the world. They do. Uh, here's a, here's I promote gold. Uh, I, I'm Thank in favor you. of people owning gold. Are you, though? Yeah, yeah I Are am. you? I am. Okay. I am. Um, hold on, here's okay. a trivia question. <laughs> what was the last uh, Democrat presidential candidate to win the general election in Texas? Any guess? Okay, was run it, that by me. Yeah, yeah. The I, last I, it, it Democratic. Was awkwardly. Yeah, so who was the last Democrat nominee to win Texas? In what In the race? Electoral College. Oh, in the uh, Electoral in, in the College. In general, the general uh, election. Bill uh, I'm going to say Bill Clinton, yeah. That was my guess. No. Jimmy Carter. No. Oh, wow. Interesting. Wow. Huh? Because Ann Richards won in uh, the in the 90s, so I figured mm, yeah. they were yeah. probably still Democrat then. Bob no? Dole won. Uh, George H.W. Bush about and that? Bob Dole won his Bob Dole. state. Yeah, that's that's Bob amazing. Dole. Very interesting. Uh, that's amazing. <laughs> Uh, all right, so <clears throat> we were talking about Menendez. New charges uh, came one day uh, after one of the New Jersey businessmen who was previously indicted alongside Menendez, yeah. his wife, Nadine Menendez, and two others agreed to plead guilty and cooperate with the investigation. Oh, my. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> his wife is cooperating. Well, she's a mafia <laughs> wife. This picture here that I that they posted last night with uh, oh. with Bob and the wife. I'm thinking it's just that. just a mobster. Look at that. That's awesome. <laughs> You're so right. That's awesome. It looks like a mafia. Because <laughs> so I mean, uh, <laughs> is she just a tad younger than him? I was gonna say he likes him know. really, really, really young. Allegedly. Uh, so maybe okay. All right. <laughs> so <laughs> you gotta have go- you gotta have whatever. Some, you gotta have some gold bars to keep up with yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, you do. Yes, you I don't do. care what country's name is stamped on those. Yeah, bad I don't boys. care who you are. You need some gold bars. <laughs> oh, that's great. Mm. He faced uh, four counts of conspiracy to commit bribery, conspiracy to commit honest services fraud, conspiracy to commit extortion under color of official right, and conspiracy for a public official to act as a foreign agent. Jeez. The new charges add the underlying so-called substantive crimes to the conspiracy charges. Right. He's denied any wrongdoing. Uh... So here's his statement, not content or capable of meeting those facts fairly at trial. The government has now falsely alleged a cover up and obstruction. The latest charge reveals far more about the government than it says about me. It says that the prosecutors are afraid of the facts, scared to subject their charges to the fair minded scrutiny of a jury and unconstrained by any sense of justice or fair play. It says once and for all. That they will stop at nothing in their zeal to get me. Amen. They just keep tacking on those bribery, extortion, wire fraud. They just keep going. They just keep tacking them on. Now they've got my wife mm. turned against me and my friend, the businessman, all of them. Yeah, that seems bad <clears throat> to me. It does that seem seems, bad. That seems bad. That seems like a negative. But again, he's been he's been convicted of nothing. That's correct. So we'll see. Correct. We'll, we'll see. But it sure looks bad. Oh, you had uh, cash in his closet and his suit pocket. Yeah, how much was it? Was it two hundred and fifty thousand? It was a lot. It was a lot of cash. But what are you going to do when you have when you have cash, a lot of cash? Gold. What do you What are you going to do? What are you going to do? It's either a shoe box or you put them in suit pockets. Yeah, that's what you do. Uh, sure. Hello. That's what I do with all my excess cash <laughs> that I can't Thank get to you. the bank. I mean, cash is coming at me so fast. I don't have time to take it all to the bank. You know what I mean? That's fair. I do. Yeah. Yeah. I do. <laughs> <laughs> and then I just stack up my gold bullion. Right. 
uh, in my closet a lot of times. Like if an American can't <laughs> expect privacy in their closet. Thank you. Thank you. Where can you expect? That's right. That's right. Okay. All right. You already know about Sierra Whiskey Company, the folks that brought you under tack revolutionary boxers that are changing the game. Well, they just unveiled a whole bunch of new products for the new year. Uh, now they offer socks and joggers, oh, t-shirts cool. and sweatshirts. Uh-huh. All made in America, and they all embody the same rugged spirit you come to expect. Their socks are made of battle weave wool. That's five times stronger than merino. Their ring spun cotton hoodies and joggers are incredibly comfortable. And every Patriot needs the EDC t-shirt three-pack. Remember, under tack isn't your typical men's boxers. They're made with Modal, and that's light cotton, just way better. It's 50% more moisture-wicking, antibacterial, and it's just way softer. Feels great, functions great, stays in place with a really sturdy but comfortable extra-wide waistband. The fly design is fantastic. Undertack is durable, ultra lightweight, fade resistant, and shrink resistant. And as if that all of that's not enough, they also donate a portion of their profits to organizations that are actively fighting against human trafficking. Just a great company and a great product. So stock your drawers today. Undertack.com. That's undertack.com. You get 20% off site wide when you use my offer code PAT20. Exceptional comfort, twice the guarantee at a fraction of the price. Undertack.com, under T-A-C, undertack.com. Beware, Pat Gray is unleashed. All right, again, uh, Trump cleaned up last night for the most part. He did lose Vermont. To Nikki Haley, <laughs> yeah, because Democrats, because Democrats, because can vote Democrats. Democrats. It's being yeah. reported that Nikki Haley is going to drop out today. What, what is this? Drop out of he the race. Doesn't, I don't, Jeffy just, just doesn't want her to go. I, I'm just telling you, it's being reported. He doesn't so want her to go. What's, what's the, please what's, stay, Nikki. Please. I, Got the graphic please. up there. Good job, Chris. Why, Joe? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Please stay. It's been so much fun having a war monger in this race. Thank you. It's been so much fun. It's been to have. It's been fun to have a female perspective. Oh wow! <laughs> really good female point, perspective. especially coming from you. Who Is I that know, Jeffy? I know you. Is, you so Hold appreciate a the female perspective. I do appreciate a female Jeffy, did you? Or, I'm sorry, Chris. Did you send? I the, did. Oh, yeah. Joe, can, oh, can you please go for it? Clip 22, Joe. This please. Is Jeffy voted yesterday in North Carolina. Apparently. <laughs> Oh, wow. Did you go to North Carolina? <laughs> and then they talk to you afterwards, this, right? All right. What do you think of Nikki Haley? Did you ever consider her? Uh, <laughs> you know, what I got to say, you don't really want to put it on. Uh, Let me hear it. <laughs> well, a woman's not going to be a good president. She's going to have no balls to scratch. She's just going to scratch her head. All woman's good for in my book is uh, uh, having geez. babies and taking care of uh, the house. and Taking care, care of the house. house. But that's, that's the old thing, you know, uh, but I'm old school. <laughs> So you never even considered her. I'm no. old school. Beca- mainly because she's a woman. Because she's female. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah. females, don't take me wrong. Females know what they're doing, but they still got to have a little bit of guidance. Uh, Trump would be the one to guide her through the... the- <laughs> Let's find the hickiest hick we could possibly <laughs> locate and NBC, let's kudos. interview him on the Man air. on the street. Man and, on the street and reporting. And make it look like that's all Trump supporters. Man on the street reporting. All right. And, what are you going to do? Uh, what was the quote? Uh, she, you looked a little she, bit younger there She yesterday. needs to be making uh, babies and be in the kitchen. What was the well, exact quote that he said? It was about like that. Yeah. Yeah, they're He's good at making are babies. Fine. They just need a little guidance. <laughs> uh, you shaved the beard a little bit. That's a little bit more I going on. I'd like, I'd like uh, you to point to me where he was wrong. <laughs> Would you? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna point that out to you. I'm gonna let you. Figure I am that so out grateful later. that that clip is on the show on a day that Jeffy is here. I am too. Oh man, that is awesome. Well, I tell you, I ain't got no giblets to scratch. That's what they, so, uh, how can you trust anything they say or do? I don't know if they ain't. If they ain't, you don't. You don't hear their voice coming from a kitchen. He ain't got nothing to say. Am I right? My, book is My right? He didn't say that. He said they needed guidance. And, uh, but 
that's that's the old thing, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah, take I'm care of that. Girls. So you never school. even considered her? No. No. Beca- no. Mainly because she's a woman. Nah. Because she's female. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, what he said. females, don't tell me wrong. Females <laughs> know what wrong. they're doing, but they still got to have a little bit of guy. They know what they're uh, doing, but they still want to have a Okay, the only thing missing from that <laughs> answer awesome. is, I don't mind if she's in the house. Right. Just not the White House. <laughs> <laughs> North Carolina. There you go. That's great. Uh, that's, that's good awesome. stuff. That's priceless, isn't it? God bless yeah. the USA. Yeah, absolutely. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> well, I didn't understand though. I love it. He knew. She ain't got no balls to scratch. Right. What is that? Yeah, I don't have know. To do with what? I don't know. Well, that's when you're bizarre. thinking, right? When you when, when you're critical, critical thinking, what are you doing? Yeah. You're, at, at the you're same scratching time, scratching your giblets. <laughs> Wait, okay. Exactly. Hold on a second. And if a woman is doing that, that's <laughs> not she thinking. Got, that's not thinking. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, she ain't got nothing down there to scratch. She's well, she does. Thing. I've never that's heard a thing. that. I can't. I mean, I can't even believe it because the guy knew. It was, yes. This is not going to be and, and, politically correct. You're not going to agree with this. All right. So maybe I'll just. Nope. I'm going to spell. Kudos to the right NBC here. reporter because he knew. Yeah, the, go ahead. He go ahead. knew the gold he had. Oh, yeah. And he was oh, just yes. like. Yep. I, that had to have been what? Probably the, <laughs> the 50th, the 50th yeah. 60th man yeah. on the street interview. Yes. yes. And he finally. And they this, used that one. Yeah, that's right. And this guy came through with flying colors. And Fisher, oh. what is your. You imagine the score, too? I know. Oh, that, yeah. I mean, that's a, that's a chewing like they the fat rule. Gold. That's a chewing the fat rule. I was going to ask you, what's yeah. the rule, Jeffy, when the camera just, comes? Just because someone puts a mic in front of you doesn't, doesn't mean you, have, mean to you have to speak, man. No. And no. people do it all the time. All the time. And I appreciate it. Yeah. I appreciate it. Well, I'm going to say, because you ain't going to use it anyway. Go ahead. All right. Here's the thing. (laughs) (laughs) That's awesome. That's crazy. Oh, man. Has the left uh, doxxed that guy yet? (laughs) They will. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that is true. That's sad. They will. It's sad. This guy, yeah, yeah, he's in for a ride now. (sighs) It's not like it used to be where you could just say that and just disappear. (laughs) Right, right. I mean, they're, they'll track him down. Yeah. I bet they will. And it's he'll pathetic. be happy to point out the guidance that the females <laughs> need. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he will. Yeah, it's great. Uh, so, also in Texas, uh, Speaker of the House Dade Phelan. Mm. You know the guy. Uh, do we still have that around? Probably. Oh not. gosh, uh, the drunk our, speech. Our drunk Speaker of the House. Oh my gosh! Allegedly. What a moment that was in Texas history. Uh, he's headed to a runoff in May, so hopefully he'll lose. I doubt it, but it'd be nice to get somebody, I don't know, sober for one thing. <laughs> <laughs> While on the job, at least. What's yeah, next? at least on the job. Yeah. I mean, it, if you're going to conduct business that day in the Texas House of Representatives and you're the speaker, you might want to be sober. I'm a wow. little picky about that. Oh, you do have audio? All right. <laughs> Let's go ahead and hear that. Just a little reminder here. Mr. Campbell, send an amendment is acceptable to the author. Is there objection to the opposite amendment? Dade failing. The chair has mm-hmm. done. Amendment is adopted. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. He the didn't chair even. Chair recognizes Mr. 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 Johnson of Harris. <laughs> Mr. Johnson of Harris <laughs> oh. speaking opposition okay. to the bill. And the bill. The bill. <laughs> you, you, <laughs> That's you amazing. Know what I'm that's amazing. The chair uh, recognizes Ms. Niave Criado to speak in opposition. Niave uh, Criado. Uh, hey, hold, hold on. Hold on. The first name uh, was Campbell, right? Play this again because he can't even say Campbell. <laughs> Listen to this. Uh, Mr. Campbell said yeah, Campbell. 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 I don't think there's a representative Campbell. <laughs> That's good. Members adopted. That's good. It is, That's isn't good. it? That's good. I should adopt That's good. It's so always important. Oh, there is a camp. The camp. Oh, okay. Oh, well. Mr. Mr. Johnson of Harris. Johnson. Harris. Mr. Johnson of Harris. Harris. To speak Harris. in opposition <laughs> to... But he's still in the race, right? He's running. Yeah, the he's, still still he's still there. there. He's good still in it. He's in it to win it. I, it tells you just the chair recognizes how dumb we are. Yeah. Yeah. And and by the way, uh, just him specifically, take the the drunkardness out of it. Mm-hmm. That guy is why things in Texas don't make sense. Why yeah. you can't get conservative stuff passed? He's right. bad on multiple fronts. He is. Yes, he is. He's a rhino for one thing. Uh, 
and apparently likes the sauce yeah. during the day when he's running the house. Matt Gray Unleashed. Some tweets here. Mother Stink Eye tweets. So now we know Pat keeps his dreads at the ready under his desk. Loved it. <laughs> what? What do you mean? I, what? No, it's just my natural look. I don't know. I don't know what you mean there. <laughs> I just put it up under my headphones now. That's where my dreads oh, are right okay. now. okay. Yeah. <laughs> my headphones cover them really well. Uh-huh. If I do it right, you know, and get a bobby pin, <laughs> I do it right. stick it in there. Uh, Kamala's tail hook convention. Joy Reid hates Trump so bad. She stole his haircut. <laughs> That's a fact. <laughs> yeah, put that picture back up. She is <coughs> doing a Donald Trump impression with yeah. her. Uh, As she kind of is, actually. Look. That's yeah. It's just the hair color yeah. is a little different than Trump's, but mm, I don't know. Pretty close. Pink. Where yeah, you, there where, we go. Where are you seeing pink? Is that pink or is it orange? Yeah, I guess orange. it's kind of orange. Yeah, I think it's that's orange. Just the, I think that's just the monitor you're looking at. Oh, right. Yes, depending yeah. on which monitor I look at. <laughs> oh, okay. That looks a little blondish on Do that one. Do we see one. any bed right? bugs in that shot? No, we don't, but I wish there were. <laughs> Man, do I wish there were. I guess they're were. hard to get rid of. Oh, yeah. Uh, really hard. So good luck on that, MSNBC. Uh, Dave the Man tweets, maybe Bob Menendez learned about having cash in the house from Fannie Willis. <laughs> I will never pronounce her name Fanny, by the way. Uh-huh. That's just stupid. That's what her dad taught her to do. <clears throat> Atticus tweets, I love those moments when you three whiteies are talking about race and Chris throws his voice in to prove you all are meeting the colored quotient. Oh, oh yeah. I mean, that's the, the truth is out. That's why we had to hire. It was a DEI thing. <laughs> Expired Vax promo. MAGA is so anti-woman. Trump said his only qualification for VP is gender and skin color. No, wait. No. That was Biden. That was Biden. Yes. Nothing to see here. Move along. Right. Remember, I he absolutely said that it was going to be a black female. And he said that with the Supreme Court justice, too. Right. That's right. Mm-hmm. That's right. Jeez, man. Which is, I mean, par for the course uh, for everything this administration does. Yeah. yeah. And Democrats in general as after well. After official after official in this administration saying that's what animates every decision they make. Yes. It clearly it's does. It's worked out well for <laughs> us, the American it people. It has. Everything's gone better better since DEI. <laughs> uh, caffeinated Texan, anyone want to bet the Hick was a hired actor? Oh, that yeah. could be. What was his name? <laughs> Emmett Martin, I think they put on the screen. Okay. Mm. Uh, I'll have to look. Yeah, uh, yeah. Emmett Martin. <laughs> better hope he's not real, because else his life's about to be made miserable. And Patrick Hill, that interview was as staged <laughs> as a pic of Jeffy joining a gym. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I saw the Wait. tweet coming. I was just Wait. waiting for Jeffy's exact response. All right. Uh, speaking of Jeffy, here's Chewing the Fat with uh, Jeffy. Oh. Uh, in our little intro here. Oh, we got a new one here. It's yeah. Ode to Joy. Chewing the Fat. Somebody sent us Ode the perf- as performed Ode by children. Joy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Get it, Joy. Ode to Joy. That's Joy Behar. This is boy. She's pretty on Joy. I I I was hoping for uh, you know different (laughs) picks of Joy throughout Ode to Joy. Just get the one. Really well done. Okay, that's good. Uh, how, how long is this thing? I know. Oh, it's long Very. That's what long she said. Enough. Uh, <laughs> did you not want the meme again? No, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, I like it's the just, meme. That meme that, was excellent. I know that Pat didn't see it. Pat didn't that's, see it, so put it back up so Pat can... This is, uh, I was just reminded that, uh, you know, ironic how three of the least happy people on television are named Whoopi, Sunny, and Joy. <laughs> and they're all is, together. Uh, yeah, and they're all <laughs> together on one happy mm-hmm. show. Ugh. Some great little uh, Beethoven there being played by, do we know what uh, elementary school that was? Sure. Yeah. Yes. 
<laughs> by the elementary school. The elementary school. school. Yes. 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 The yeah. elementary Good school. Good stuff. Hey, uh, sad day for uh, America. Yeah. Since since what's her face is dropping out of the race, you're <laughs> it, right. It's being reported that yeah, it is being uh, reported. Nikki Haley is dropping mm-hmm. out of the race. It has not happened yet. <laughs> Just letting you know that. Uh, that the, uh, my man Jeff Bezos is back to being the richest guy in the world. Oh yeah, today. Yeah, uh, Elon has dropped off uh, number two significantly. Yeah, because see, I thought uh, he was over three hundred billion for a while. Well, Arnaud. Now he's uh, just under two hundred billion. Louis Vuitton guy Bernard Avant <laughs> there from France. He jumped ahead for a little bit too, and now he's back to number three. They're all neck and neck right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Jeff's got two hundred. Elon's got one ninety eight. Bernard Arnaud oh, no. has a one ninety seven. So they're all. I don't know how they're mm-hmm. getting by today. I don't either. I don't either. It's a struggle for them, but yeah. I don't know. congratulations. When you lose a hundred billion dollars in a year. Uh, it's been a bad year. And, no doubt about that. You know, we should probably be doing like a GoFundMe <laughs> site for uh, Elon. I'm worried about it. <laughs> it's, a little, it's a little concerning. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. Yeah. I know. A uh, big weekend coming up, too, with the Oscars Sunday night. I'm sorry, the 96th Academy Awards. Uh, it's an hour earlier this year, 7 p.m. Eastern, live on ABC, and, of course, streamed at the uh, ABC.com and the ABC app. Don't forget. Time change Sunday as well. Yeah. 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 Jump Lose ahead. an hour. Yeah. Ease. That sucks. So dumb. Jimmy Kimmel is going to host his fourth time, which ties him with I can't stand Whoopi him. Goldberg and Jack Lemon. Wow. Uh, for the most, the uh, fourth time uh, hosting the Oscars because uh, Bob Hope did it 19 times. Mm-hmm. Billy Crystal hosted nine times. Johnny Carson did it five times. Steve Martin, Jerry Lewis, and David Niven. Have done it three times. David Niven. <laughs> Don't look so. <laughs> Why? The David Niven. Wow. Yeah. All I've right. Done it three times. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, when you're watching it, just know that uh, 30 second commercial, uh, 1.85 million dollars for a 30 second commercial. That's a tad lower than the Super Bowl. Tad. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, by I don't know, 73 percent. Mm-hmm. Something like that for those, like that. So, but they're worth it. Still, it's that seems it. too high for. I mean, nobody's going to be watching. My fa- very few. My favorite thing mm-hmm. that's happening is called the Ring of Steel. The area around the Dolby Theater in Hollywood Boulevard in Los <laughs> Angeles has been blocked off with chain link fencing mm-hmm. uh, because uh, they want to. So they're going to use uh, uh, local law enforcement along with uh, security personnel plus uh, federal law enforcement because uh, the pro-Palestinian supporters. Uh, you could we we don't want you holding up our red carpet. Uh, <laughs> you know, you guys, we're with you. Mm-hmm. Man, we are oh, with yeah. you mm-hmm. so sure. much, but so much. we're with you with you guys being over there. Yeah, we want you. We're with you about a half mile away from you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they shut down the Grammys red carpet for a while, uh, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. a couple weeks ago or whatever. So they're they're not having mm-hmm. that at the Oscars. We are not. We are. You go do whatever you need to do, but do it over there. Yeah. Uh, not over here. The unwashed masses will not be by the red carpet. And again, they created this monster. So, <coughs> congratulations. Correct. It's now you get to you. deal with it. It's on you. Yep. And they definitely don't want the unwashed masses around when they're leaving because, uh, you know, the uh, they'll be leaving with their $140,000 gift bags from Distinctive Assets. Uh, the Everybody Wins bags uh, this year. You get 53 elaborate items uh, you get uh, some of the items include a fifteen thousand dollar four night stay for two at a luxury resort and spa. That's a little heavy in the bag. Wow, that's a little heavy in the bag. Uh-huh. Uh, you get a twelve thousand dollar liposuction voucher. Who doesn't need one of those? Mm-hmm. Uh, you get twenty five thousand dollars worth of home renovations. Jeez. You get an assortment of designer popcorn. I'm all about that. And again, uh-huh. this is for. Incredibly wealthy millionaires. <laughs> you get a twelve hundred dollar uh, life coaching session. Okay. <laughs> My favorite, and mm-hmm. much more, <laughs> and the most expensive item to make it in this year's gift bag was the fifty thousand dollar three night stay in Scotland at the Turin Castle. Ooh. Wow! So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Mm. That is pretty cool. And uh, by the way, uh, 
keep over there on the other side of the fence. Mm-hmm. Don't be <laughs> don't be coming over here with your little protests, okay? Your cute little protests. <laughs> we'll say something on stage. Don't worry about it. We'll we'll bash the Israelis mm-hmm. and uh we'll be, we'll do it for you. But mm-hmm. Interesting. You, it, it'll be interesting to there. see how that mix works. I know. Because there's going to be a, you, both sides. that battle between yes. the progressives and the Jewish people who do support Israel. Yeah. There's a little bit of that in Hollywood. Yes, and there so is. it's going to be interesting. What day is that, Jeffy? Sunday, Sunday night. night. Okay. That Sunday might night. be reason enough to tune in, I know. actually. Uh, that might we'll be see how they it. handle that. No. Yeah. I, and then, look, the hypocrisy is agonizing in Hollywood anyway, right? I mean, we just saw the uh, the story where Leonardo DiCaprio was filming in Sacramento. And, uh, whew, man, I can't. Uh, we're going to film here tomorrow. And all these unhoused people, they got to mm-hmm. go. Mm. Uh, they got to go. They just put stickers on the tents. Yeah, you guys got to be out of here by tomorrow. We're filming. Oh, wow. So, yeah, we, I'm for you. I'm for you. Mm-hmm. All of you, man. Mm-hmm. I know the struggle. Just somewhere else. I know the struggle you people are in, uh-huh. but <laughs> not tomorrow because yeah. we're filming over here. So get out. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Speaking of movies, too, I see where uh, Disney is considering uh, bringing Johnny Depp back as Captain Jack Sparrow uh, in the uh, sixth Pirates of the Caribbean movie. So mm. uh, I'm sure uh, they need uh, they need some good pub. Mm-hmm. These days, and uh, he's the one for it. Uh, your uh, Fisher, hold up. Weren't they trying to like cast Margot Robbie to be the female version of him? Oh, I, I, yeah, I don't know that, but w- that would work. I mean, <laughs> I'm not necessarily I think they were trying to. to were, Margot <laughs> Robbie doing anything works. <laughs> I forgot what I was talking to. Never mind. Yeah, you're yeah. right. You, uh, well, what, was we going to say no? <laughs> No, no I was just not wondering. Like, no to Margot Robbie. No. If you had to pick Margot Robbie or going Johnny Depp, Margot Johnny Robbie Depp. There. Oh, yeah. Oh. Well, yeah. Johnny Depp's gonna, you know, he'd be a supporting role. I'm okay with having Margot Robbie and then have Depp be a supporting role. That'd be fine. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Are they actually gonna do another Pirates of the Caribbean? I, I, I hope so. A, huh? They're so good. Oh yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> No, they, yeah, they were at one point. They've I don't know invested they a lot are. of money into the Pirates of the Caribbean theme. I, I thought that one at World's End or whatever. I oh thought that yeah, finished yeah. it. Oh mm, didn't no, it? because what's his face had died and he comes back every twenty years or whatever it was. And yeah. that was before Margot Robbie said, "You know, I wouldn't mm. mind playing Jack Sparrow." <laughs> True. Uh, yep. <laughs> and Disney went, "Yeah, that's probably yeah, that's you know, a good that's idea. An interesting uh, thought. Huh? We could." Use you and bring Johnny Depp back, and it'd be a yeah. winning winning ticket. Uh huh. And it would be too. Uh, the U two residency at the Sphere is now over. Oh, I know, I know. Sad day. Darn it! Uh, they Didn't finished their residency uh, last weekend, mm-hmm. uh, but our first lady Jill Biden was there. Oh, the are you gonna play this for the final show? No, I'm not playing this. Okay, I'm just gonna good. let I'm just gonna let you know that. Uh, oh, no, no, don't, don't. Oh, yeah, the song proper dedication. Proper context. The song dedication, yeah. What do you it mean, wasn't de- proper context? He had a special guest in the audience. He showed respect to the office. Of the first lady? Or not the office, but to the... So to the- he dedicated the song, All I Want Is You. Oh. Mm-hmm. Um, to her? To he Yes. Said, he said, it was so all gross. Quote. quote. Oh, I'll, I'll, give okay, I'll give you the quote. Okay, I'll give you the quote. Thank you. Tonight, I want to dedicate it uh, to all the great women in our lives, our partners, our mothers, our daughters, all the women on the YouTube crew, and all the great women in our audience that we feel we know, and all the great women in parts of the world going through very difficult circumstances that we could never know. And one woman in particular oh, no. who is with us tonight. <laughs> She's a teacher. She's your first lady. So this is for Jill Biden. There you go. So Ode Jeez. to Jill Biden. That it's was, a song that uh, oh, he boy. wrote for his wife mm-hmm. and then dedicated to all of the women. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. I love uh, <laughs> she's out partying in Vegas, though. Where's Joe? Yeah, right. She's right. Out, he went uh, to the vacation house and she went to Vegas. She's out partying in Vegas with the girls. Uh-huh. The U2 show. Joe's mm-hmm. home. Mm-hmm. Crying in his diaper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mm-hmm. Uh, you mm-hmm. mentioned uh, you mentioned yesterday about the uh, Rihanna Rihanna playing at the three day pre wedding <laughs> extravaganza. Yeah, uh, with the uh, nine page dress code and the chartered jets 
to the youngest son of India's wealthiest family, uh, Anat Ambani and his fiance here with his dad and Rihanna there. And they were the actual wedding isn't until July, but they just had a fun weekend. Uh, Dad's only worth about 113 billion. What could go wrong so, with the couple before mm-hmm. July? I know. Not, I thought it was like next week. Not in India. <laughs> not in India. Not in India. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing going wrong with that. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> if something goes wrong with that, she's had an accident. <laughs> just to be clear. Okay. Uh, and uh, Rihanna was paid uh, six million dollars plus for the show, which you know all all reports are saying that it was a lackluster performance. Which. Mm-hmm. I mean that's a Rihanna performance. Oh, right? yeah. that's, that's just say. that's her. Yeah, uh, I see where. But uh, you know they all are out to make the buck. You see where your girl Taylor Swift, my girl, <laughs> yeah, your girl Taylor <laughs> yeah. Swift, okay, uh, was paid three million dollars a show. Yeah, for six shows to do specific shows in Singapore. Huh. So all the countries in Southeast Asia are uh, tad peeved. Because uh, Singapore said, you know, why don't you just exclusively do your shows here in Singapore, mm-hmm. and we'll pay you the $3 million a show just for that. I mean, that doesn't count, you know, the tickets and the marketing and everything else. That's just to show up. Hmm. So six shows in Singapore. Uh, what is that? Uh, three times. I believe that's 18. I was so if we put the 18 Thank minutes you. together along with the 7 minutes together, you got 22 minutes. You sell it with 8 minutes of ads, you got 30 minutes. Uh, so, I mean, good for them. They're the money-making machines, man. Taylor Swift. And I'm just wait, sitting around waiting to hit the lotto, which they have not been a winner on for quite some time. So you got the Mega Millions. Uh, there was no winner last night. So it goes up to $687 million jackpot. And you got the Powerball tonight at $485 million. Mm. So hmm. I don't know that that gets you. Uh, that doesn't get you India wedding money, <laughs> but it does. Uh, it will help. And we do have. Uh, and we have time for the UFO because we have video proof from uh, a Ukrainian soldier oh, wow. uh, with a, a UFO in Ukraine, the okay. size of the Empire State Building, uh, has emerged. Uh, he showed video of it. He had a drone out there. Here's the video of it. Uh, it's a 1,300 foot long UFO which stood motionless. Despite the winds, and then the uh, war zone soldier <laughs> said uh, he and his fellow servicemen had never seen things like this before. So there's the picture of it, the still shot. So we have an actual Wait, UFO. Is this 1955? Where, where did we get this footage? I know what do you every mean? This is his... time. <laughs> Every time. I swear. Nobody has an iPhone over there that can take a clear this is, shot this of this from We've sent them enough money. You should have high-definition <laughs> yeah. cameras on your phone, man. Exactly right. <laughs> so, uh, I take it you don't believe it, is what I'm hearing from you. You're, you take it correctly. <laughs> Just as we gave it. <laughs> Pat Gray Unleashed. Pat Gray is here on the Blaze Radio Network. A uh, big night, Super Tuesday, for Donald Trump. Although Nikki Haley surprised me I by know. winning uh, Vermont. Of course, she won that because of Democrats. They can cross the aisle uh-huh. and vote for the Republican, which happened. And so she won Vermont. She won D.C. Uh, apparently at uh, 9 o'clock Central, so oh. <clears throat> 10 Eastern. Uh, she's going to drop out of the race. As of right now, though, she's still in the race. Still in the race. She's in it to win it. What is she's this? in it for the long haul. <laughs> yeah, but, I mean, because like you said, Pat, I mean, she's it's, right nipping at his heels. Right. And to Jeffy's point, yeah. we think she's going to drop out, but when you no, look no. at the numbers, That's being reported, the numbers, the numbers don't numbers. lie. Would you? Would you <laughs> drop out? Uh, it's a thousand forty-two for Trump. Thousand forty-two delegates. To 92. I'll tell you what, I've been in the, if, if I'm Nikki, Nikki Haley, Haley, as long as I've been in the race already, I'm mm-hmm. not dropping out. You're not dropping out. I'm not dropping out. All right, good for you. You're in it to win it. Uh, I am. <laughs> okay. There you go. All right. There you go. I mean, if she wants to be the mm-hmm. loser that she'll become if she mm-hmm. drops out, okay, whatever. <laughs> we'll see. It's just a couple hours away. Uh, you know... I guess there's a new strategy at the White House now to let Joe be Joe. 
So they're, I think they've gotten so frustrated with the way he conducts himself in, in public. Jill they're just like, goes to Vegas ah, let and him parties. Do it. Let him do it. Jill's going. Well, they know he's not going to be the nominee. Yeah. Right? Is that what oh. it is? It's exactly what it is. Okay. Like, like that's that's Maybe. the dirty little secret that everybody at the White House and the DNC knows, except for Joe Biden himself. You're not going to be on the ballot in November, old man. Well, the spin on this, of course, is that ah, people love him so much and he's so oh, charming. Just okay. let him be himself and that'll be enough. I see. Mm, I see. No. Because he's not. No. That way, no. you know, he, he never he's really not. was. No, but be- he certainly isn't he now. Certainly isn't now. Yeah, it's uh, almost like this Joe mythology. Yeah, that oh he's that, just oh, he's a so charming, pale Joe. funny and charming and down to earth, and everybody loves him. No, no. have you seen his approval rating? <laughs> have you seen it? Everybody does. Eighty one million it. votes, though. All oh, right, don't forget that. Right, but there, I mean, there's nothing they can do about his age. He's old. Yeah. And uh, who was it the other day? They do day have to lean said, into it, that's for sure. Somebody said the other day, uh, who was it? Look, he's old. Oh, it's Hillary, Hillary Clinton. Hmm. Okay, yes, people come to me all the time and say, he's old. Okay, here's the reality. He's, yes, he's old. He's old. <laughs> Just move past it, is what she's basically saying. <laughs> right. They're both old. Just move past it. No. One of the guys, she said, one of the guys uh, is doing an effective job. And leading the country well, <laughs> the other one can barely put two words together. Are you telling me that you're? I you're love that narrative. Saying that's so much. Donald Trump. Yeah, that's absolutely. I mean, their Hillary narrative. Clinton's going to be seventy-seven before the election. Oh yeah, yeah, she's older. <laughs> you're as no well. spring chicken. Yeah, she's about the same age as Trump is. And there was a big article uh, I read that talked about how <clears throat> Michelle Obama is no way going to run for president. Right, yeah, I saw that too. And so I think that's the ruse, though, right? That's Glenn's f- argument, is that yeah. she continues to say, there's no way I'm going to run. And then when Joe stumbles, all right. There was She's a, the reluctant warrior all right. at that point. Mm-hmm. The, re- the reluctant warrior. Uh, there was a tweet. I uh, hope that does not happen, that by the way. Me too. Mm-hmm. Holy cow. Me too. Uh, I'm not going to be able to find this here, but uh, there was a great tweet from a pad head just a few moments ago. <laughs> it's almost like a, a, a conundrum. Um mm. Who is that uh, Emmett Martin in North Carolina? Is he could would he vote for uh, Michelle Obama? Oh right, that's alleging she has giblets. Oh, is that yeah, what that that's is what that is. Oh, that's I what that see. is. Yeah, because most I, I don't think a lot of people see. got that. He's saying that. What, what's he saying? <laughs> what he's us. saying is she's trans. I see, and not an actual female. Yeah. So, I see. Has that been Big reported? Mike, Mike, Mike. Uh, has that been reported? I'm sure not, because it's just so offensive. Just so off- I don't know why it's offensive, because I thought being trans was fantastic. I thought that was a great thing. Yeah, it's a great thing. It's desirable, in fact. It's more desirable. <laughs> yeah. We should all be dating Big Mikes. Yeah, right? Right? Otherwise, you're a bigot. A bigot. Am I right? Who's yeah. with me on that? In I'm your with bigotry. You. Yeah. And that was DMXDM who said that. It's great. <laughs> uh, nicely done there. Yeah. Uh, yesterday, speaking of Joe and being Joe, he was talking about his poll numbers. And somebody asked him about, you know, how bad the poll numbers are. Here's what he had to say about that. Mr. President, what's your message to Democrats who are concerned about your mm-hmm. poll numbers? Mm-hmm. My poll numbers, the last five polls you guys don't report, I'm really five, five in a row. What? Look at the last five polls. Okay, look at the last five polls. I'm great, winning. You got to stop paper. reading the New York Times. No, 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 no. You've got to start. You've got to start reading oh, the New York he's Times. He's saying that paper, okay. five polls the There's, New York Times. That is done? untrue. That's a lie. I'm trying to find that. What is that? I, I want that fact checked. Yeah. Five polls in a row show him leading. No way. No. No way. No, that is not true. No. I haven't seen a single poll that shows him leading. Five polls in a row. You guys won't report. Like the media is all gathered against right. him. Like they're all just trying to shut him down. Are you kidding me? They're so friendly to this guy who is clearly not up to this job. And they continue to make excuses for him. They do. To cover things up. And then he still doesn't appreciate it. No, he doesn't. Yeah, you guys won't report it. The five polls. Uh, shut up. That's all they would report if there really were five polls. So I have five polls. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Save that for a second. The latest New York Times Siena College poll released Saturday, which we talked about, Trump winning forty-eight, forty-three over Biden. What is he even? Right. What are you talking about? So what do you got? So I got the February. I got one, two, three, four, five, six New York Times 
polls okay. that were done by the New York Times and Siena College. Yeah. Trump, Trump, Haley, Haley, Trump, Trump. So he's not losing one of to them. everyone. Not one of them. He even loses to Nikki Haley. In fact, I think he loses to Haley by more than He loses to Trump. Haley 10, yes. I'm 10 looking at nine. the same yes. last God, five polls geez, you know, you're referring to there. So, so tired of the so, lies. So, so, so if we're talking about those five polls, mm-hmm. or we're talking about the most recent New York Times polls, he's wrong on both, on of, both of those. Yeah. yeah. This guy sucks so much. And even this website has all the polls and the mm-hmm. five latest polls, which is Morning Council, YouGov, TIPP. It has Biden plus one, Trump plus four, even Biden plus one, Trump plus two. You Those obviously are- aren't getting the polls at the White House. Oh, yeah. Okay. Sorry. Maybe internal polling shows that. Maybe push polling on his part shows that. But I don't remember know. his point was you got to start reading the New York Times. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. Well, we, we, we did. We did, bro. <laughs> we did. And we talked about that on Monday that it has you behind. Ugh. Agonizing. But he discussed his economic. Uh, fission. It's just fission. Vision. Let's see. It's not a vision, I'll tell you that. Whatever he or said. Or a mission. There. It's not a mission could be or a vision. It's a vision. Let's see. Fair competition is the key to my economic vision. To my <laughs> economic Build vision. Build an economy from the middle out and the uh, bottom up. So not I the guess top down. is economic... It's working. It's working. Wages are up more than prices. Uh, uh, Unemployment wait, has reached what? historic lows. No. Families are finally getting a little breathing room. <laughs> no. A breathing room. No. <laughs> so is that font? How big is it now? What are we at? I I don't know, but I'm he's big enough. Talking about his economic fission. Is that when an economic neutron slams into a larger economic atom mm-hmm. and yep. splits it yep. into two economies? That's exactly that what oh. economic that's ex- fission is. That's exactly what he means. <laughs> Yes. Okay. That's exactly well, then it makes what sense. It make we made perfect sense of his families have economic a little bit, fish. A little bit there. of a breathing room. Do they? <laughs> okay. So do they? yeah, they do. This next clip do of they? Joe, he uh-huh. references something that I, I don't know if there's a video out there that I just haven't seen, or if there's something behind the scenes at the White House that they did a thing with Cookie Monster. No, that mm-hmm. the, yeah, the, Cookie Monster went to social media. Yeah, and they, oh, they, the okay. White House yes. I think retweeted it, and okay. it was all yes. about Cookie Monster. Having yes, so Cookie inflation. Monster is on social media complaining. Yeah. Right. That's this the is, context yes. of this clip. Yes, Joe Biden talked to us about Cookie Monster. Mm. But in fact, some of the small snack companies mm-hmm. you won't uh, and think you won't even notice what they're doing. Uh, when they charge you just as much for the same size bag of potato chips, only has a hell of a lot fewer chips in it. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll tell you who did notice. Oh. Cookie Monster. <laughs> he pointed out cookies are, his cookies are getting smaller. Oh. Paying the same price. Hey, doctor? <laughs> I was stunned when I found out that's what actually happened. Uh, were you were stunned? You? I, I was stunned. Uh, it doesn't take much to stun me. Sometimes a blade of grass <laughs> will stun me. That's a fact. And so... <laughs> Yeah, it's not saying much. Anyway, anyway, I've said too much. Anyway, oh man, so relatable that he's Joe. He's good. He, he is he good. Is, he is good. Relatable is, is a good word for him because he is relatable. They're trying to stop businesses from doing business in whatever whatever way they see fit. If you don't like what the packaging is on a certain product, don't mm-hmm. buy it, old man. Don't buy it. <laughs> and of course, you're not. Uh, somebody does all of that for you. Despite the fact that uh, he's a multi multi millionaire now. Yeah, well, and let, let's be honest for one moment, please, uh, with shrinkflation. Um, it's still inflation. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, uh, it's, which it's, because, you on. it's because of his uh, that's correct. economic fission, <laughs> which causes economic neurons mm-hmm. to slam into other economic larger atoms. We've already discussed this. And, uh, and then they split into two economies. That's what happens. <laughs> that kind of fission that's going on. Okay. But it's it's the company's fault. Yeah. You got it? I hate those companies. I hate them. I hate them. I hate those. Uh, absolutely. And then, you know. Some of the smaller snack companies. You yeah. mean like those small ones like <laughs> Nabisco? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, who is he talking about? I who are you calling know. out there? I don't know. I bet he's calling out that Kexi cookie company. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. How's shrinkflation working at Kexi? Not well. Uh, we're not shrinking anything, which is why, you know, their prices are a little bit higher.
Um, you know, you have to make that decision. All right, do we not make money? Do we charge a little bit more? Do we eat some of the cost, which we've been doing? We split the cost on the ingredients and the shipping. Just, we just went, we had a meeting on this over the weekend, and my son laid out all of the economic, you know, the the economic fission of our <laughs> of our company. And there are certain things slamming into our economic, economic fission, fission. Yeah. that are making it difficult right now. I mean, eggs a year, year and a half, I don't know, before all this began. Maybe it was two years ago. It was when we first started doing the company, so I guess it's been about three. So it was shortly, or it was around Trump or shortly thereafter, when eggs were $70 for the big you know, cases that yeah. we buy. There are, it went up to 140 So it's double. So it doubled. Uh, then it Butter went, had to have at least butter, doubled, at yep. least. Yep. I mean, I don't know. I, 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 I know that my family has... A little breathing room. Mm-hmm. Uh, you do, unlike many of the you other. You go into a in room America. and you breathe. We do, okay. we do. Mm-hmm. But uh, you know, when you actually go to the store and purchase things, mm-hmm. uh, you see that prices are not coming down. They're not coming down. No, they're not going to and, ever. And when the when that same case of eggs goes down from one forty to one thirty, which I think it's around <laughs> where it is now. I think which, the okay, average so is one twenty five or something. It. Yeah, to him. So that oh, prices are coming down. They brought the price down. No, we're still paying, you know, one and a half times what we did for it. It's outrageous. And I wish I had an office that I could abuse the power of and make illegal dealings with foreign governments and line my pockets, and then I wouldn't uh-huh. have to worry about inflation. There you go, Joe. Yeah. Well, you're getting ten million dollar checks from the Chinese. It makes it a little bit easier, but not all of us are getting that. No. Oh, call me the big guy. It's, it's not. Right. But I just want to say, uh, uh, I'm here for you, China. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> Chewing the fat and Jeff Fisher. <laughs> you need to send that secret message to him yeah. over uh, TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and he looked like the leader that, that yes, he is. Yes, yes, that's for sure. When, right. when uh, you know, he wasn't sure, do I take questions? Uh, my handlers are going to get upset with me. You got to see this. Oh, oh good. yes. Oh, my gosh. Close your mouth. I better not start the questions. I'll get in trouble. Uh, Close your mouth. Thank you so much. Thank you all. He's lost. I mean, he's gone. Close your mouth. He cannot close his mouth. Like, it doesn't close anymore. (laughs) He didn't let that go. (laughs) Just let it go. (laughs) It doesn't close. It does not close. And uh, later at her daily press conference, KJP asked was asked about the uh, Cookie Monster and inflation. <laughs> I hope shrinkflation came up Definitely. too. I want to hear about the chips. <laughs> and out of that competition, Council of President is announcing that strike force. Why did it take the Cookie Monster to speak up or an election year for the no. strike force to go? Why not do it year a couple of years ago when inflation was nine percent? I, yeah. I disagree with the premise of your question there. It did not take the cookie monster. Uh, if anything, it feels like the cookie monster is responding to us and what we've been saying about shrinkflation. I can't believe I'm having a conversation about the cookie monster at the podium. Um, but that is where, but that is, but that is. But he that, brought it up, <laughs> stupid. That's a the, good one. I'm the glad president you brought it up. up I know yeah, you were so nodding tough. off in the back earlier. Doesn't but, she um, run the, uh, the social media? <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm pretty look, sure the social that, media well, commented the on... The, the yeah. president's competition council We don't need the rest of this stupid has... thing. Jeffy's got a great point. Yeah, they did. Uh, yeah. Social yeah. media yeah. did so comment. So she absolutely yes. knows why Cookie yeah. Monster is a topic because she's the one that retweeted it. Great point, Jeff. She retweeted it. <gasps> retweeted it. Biden talked about right. it. Right. Yeah. Of course you're going to get asked about it. Now the reporter is ridiculous for bringing it up. Right. God, I can't stand these right, people. Right. I just oh, oh, can't no. stand them. And then here's the other thing that, that's ridiculous mm. to bring up. The fact that the old man is completely lost without his freaking note cards. Boy, she got pissed yesterday at this question. Well, or if I may, uh, the president, I noticed, had, had note cards la- at the border when he was doing his uh, briefing there. He also had note cards uh, last Friday with the uh, Italian prime minister. Look at her. Why does the president rely so heavily on note cards? You're upset because the president has note cards? Not you're upset. you're asking me a question about the president having note yeah, cards? Yeah, you, you can't figure why. out why. The president Stupid. who has had a... <laughs> hey, Curly, probably can you figure out why? The most successful the first successful three years of, first of three an years. administration than any modern-day president. He's done more in I first I can't even listen to this. Shut up. I will say... I will say... 
it is a dumb and, question and, to ask the person who is uh, is behind the great big book of everything every day. Yeah, right. That's true. <laughs> and That's then she true. continues on with her. And you're going to ask me about note cards? Yeah, we're going to ask oh. you about note cards because yeah. the guy can't get through anything without them. It, this goes to his mental acuity, moron. You can't figure that out? <laughs> of course you can. She knows why. How you darn right she does. <sighs> it's agonizing. All right. <laughs> she is terrible. Oh, my gosh. The worst of all time. Name me a worse White House spokesperson. Uh, Carney, well, Carney's no. good, but he nope. was still good, though. I mean, Jay was, Carney was, was awful. Uh, he was awful but because of than her. But he, he was awful because of, of who he was speaking for yeah. and, and what he was doing. But he was doing a good job. I thought Miss Circle job. Back was bad. Right, right. Oh, uh, yeah. Do you want to talk about yeah. Overton Window? It's the it's yes. the it's, it's the spokesperson for the White House over the last mm-hmm. twenty years. Yep, 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 yep. All right, as we sit here today, you know, we still have the lives of babies uh, in the womb hanging in the balance. So we should talk about the most important and pressing issue of our day. Is there anything more important than the lives of the unborn and protecting them? Absolutely not. That's why. The Ministry of Preborn empowers young expectant mothers in crisis to choose life. How do they do that? By showing an ultrasound. It's just like when you first saw ultrasounds of your babies, uh, if you have children, um, and you hung them up on the refrigerator yeah. with a refrigerator Every, magnet. That's the, the world. That's oh, the... yeah. I mean, you show them to everybody who comes over to the house. You bore them. We regale them with stories <laughs> of the first time you saw and heard. Oh, look heart. at that clump I of mean, cells. Yeah, it's that's not what that's not the phrase that no, comes up. No, it is not. And that's not the phrase that comes up after the expectant mother sees. It's not a clump of cells. It's human life. $28. Uh, gives a baby an opportunity at life. Doubles the chances the baby's going to be born alive. $28 a month could sponsor um, pre-born for a year to show a year's worth of ultrasounds to women. Then they go into, then they go into action uh, after the birth of the baby to support that mother for up to two years. That's why they need your help. So if you can, please donate. Dial pound 250. Say the keyword baby. That's pound 250. Keyword baby, or just go to preborn.com slash Pat. Pat Gray Unleashed. Missed an episode? Catch up anytime, anywhere podcasts are found. Pat Gray will be right back. So you know that iconic photo from World War II? Mm-hmm. When the World War has been ended america's celebrating there's a sailor kissing a woman in, yes. in the street apparently it's that's classic mm-hmm. yeah well, there it is iconic. that's a classic uh, be as iconic yeah. as the word i guess that's what uh, somehow inappropriate or hideous yeah because or, we don't know that she consented to that kiss she looks like she's consenting so. she's not pushing his face away yeah technically uh, she wasn't so we really want the backstory oh, no. but <laughs> but that's a bogus no they're just trying to erase just making history. stuff up yes. yeah yeah that's all it is. They've tried to get rid of that, right? But mm-hmm. they tried they, to get rid of it. They've decided that so there was they're a memo not getting rid at the of it, right? at the at the um, Department of Veterans Affairs. Thank you. And they were like, "Hey, we're going to get rid of that photo at all of our facilities." So KJP was asked about that kiss poster and uh, the VA apparently banning it from its facilities and what's going on there. Department of Veterans Affairs uh, running an effort to ban the display of that uh, that iconic uh, Times Square kiss photo on on VJ Day at the end of World War II. Uh, was anyone at the White House uh, <laughs> consulted uh, in that in the drafting of the initial memorandum? And then did anyone at the White House call up the Secretary of Veterans Affairs and say rescind that memo? So uh, just I want to be really really clear. Yeah, the, please, that'd be great. Uh, the VA is not going to be banning oh. this photo from oh, uh, VA oh. facilities. It was an I'm underling. Just to be super clear oh. about that. I know, yeah. as you just said. Uh, you described it as a kerfuffle. Uh, there was uh, obviously some reporting on that. I can say I that. Uh, uh, I can definitely <laughs> say that the memo was not sanctioned, uh, mm-hmm. and so it's not something that we were even aware of until oh. you all started reporting on okay. it. Uh, but uh, huh. we are not That's banning so that photo. We're not banning it. Uh, and uh, I'm just going to be super clear about that. Yeah. Any specifics no, about clear. the memo and the process over there? Certainly, I would refer to the VA. Well, 
Hmm. Okay. So, I mean, what she really huh. wants to say is, look, sometimes as Marxists, we push too far on a country <laughs> and we realize <laughs> immediately yeah. that, uh, oh, uh, crap, uh, uh, that's uh, not going to uh, sit well with the public. Got a little pushback on that. Kerfuffle. So let me be clear here. Kerfuffle, <laughs> yes. There's a little kerfuffle. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> uh, have you ever actually heard, you know, they have the uh, Hall of the Presidents at Disney World. I think yes. Disneyland, too. Both of them have yeah, Halls do. of Presidents, don't they? And um, apparently, people paying a little bit more attention to what exactly the Joe Biden animatronic oh, cool. president says heard. at Disney World. <laughs> so, uh, we just wanted to share with you and make very clear okay. what he says. Like it. America is a nation that can be defined in a single word. I was in the, foot him, uh, foot, excuse me, the foothills of the Himalayas with Xi Jinping, traveling with him. <laughs> That's when he traveled 17,000 miles when I was vice president. I wish that were true. Friend. By the way, you know, I sit on the stand and it get hot. I got a lot of, I got hairy legs that turn, that, 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 that turn uh, um, blonde in the sun. And the kids used to come okay. up and reach in the pool. I right. rubbed my leg down. Yeah. So it was straight, and then watch the hair. Watch the hair. Come, come back up. Come again. back up. Yeah. They look at it. So I learned about roaches. I learned about kids jumping on my lap. Nice. And I've loved kids jumping on my lap. <laughs> <laughs> and I tell you what. What? The men, they're now all men. The guys I work with down here. Right. And they're right. all guys at the time. Oh. They're all good men. Okay. <laughs> Most of them made a awful lot of themselves. Uh. And Earl Larkin had a rough time. <laughs> so inspirational, am I right? Wow, wow, that was yeah, that was that was beautiful. Oh, that, that guy by the people at the animatronic store. What yeah. do you mean, got by? I, those are powerful words. Why now? Actually, play start play like the last I don't know thirty seconds or so because uh, who's the president behind him? I don't know. It's not Polk or Steve. whatever, but Steve, yeah. President come, come Steve. President Steve. Just, just look at That's the look on his face. Look at the face. Roaches. I learned That's about Buchanan. turn the audio down. Lab. Yeah. Jesus. I love kids look at, he's like, what the hell are you even talking about, bro? <laughs> what is... <laughs> That's such a great idea. I know. That's nicely done. <laughs> All right. Uh, more. Pat Gray Unleashed. Next. You know, all these truths to be self-evident. All men and women created by... The, go, you know the, you know the thing. This is Pat Gray Unleashed. Speaking of shrinkflation, as we have been a bit this morning, Congressman Thomas Massey had a great demonstration of what inflation is like uh, with a glass of iced tea. It happens when you have a quantity of something, and then you add more to it. <laughs> this is dilution. Mm. The, the principle is so simple that a child can understand. And you can create this little science project at home. Mm -hmm. Sorry, you can have your tea back. There the principle go. is called ah. dilution. And when you print $5 trillion and you put it into the economy, mm -hmm. you have diluted the value of the money. Hmm. Good job. Okay. It's a, it's a glass of huh. tea and he pours I water see. into it. That's an it... old demonstration, yeah, though. Yeah, yeah, because Jamie Raskin still had his little do-rag yeah, on. He does not yeah. have that anymore. Yeah. Huh. Well, it was making the rounds yesterday, and I enjoyed it. It would also be a nice, effective way to show that the prices haven't come down. You could ke add to that uh, a little bit less, but and then add a little bit less, but you're still adding more. And then eventually it overflows the cup or the glass, and you're like, okay, so are we paying less? Was there less... <laughs> Liquid yeah. in that glass? <laughs> no! It's still overflowed. It's crazy. Uh, in the past, we've discussed Klaus Schwab's right-hand man at the World Economic Forum, Forum uh, Yuval Noah Harari. Wonderful man. Up, man. Wonderful I mean, guy. How, Mr. Harari. How often do we speak about Yuval? A lot. I mean... A lot. It's, it's he's so uh, sick of talking He's about big him. into humanism. Mm -hmm. He doesn't apparently believe in God. Uh, and he thinks it's pretty cool. Machines will one day take over. Uh, listen to uh, Yuval Harari here. A system that understands us better than we understand ourselves, can predict mm -hmm. our feelings and decisions, mm -hmm. can manipulate our feelings and decisions, uh -oh. and can ultimately make decisions for us. 
soon, That's great. at least some corporations <laughs> and governments will be able to systematically hack all the people. Oh, good. Oh, good. <laughs> we humans should get used to the idea that we are no longer mysterious souls. Okay. We are now hackable animals. All right. Whoa. Good stuff. Okay. That's, that's cool. great. So, mm -hmm. uh, that weird guy, for some reason, was on the other night with Stephen Colbert. Oh, that's comedy, right? What the heck? Why? It's how do you stuff. even think? Hey, you know who we need to yeah. get uh, is Yuval Harari on the show. Now, you in, know, in, the second in command at the World Economic Forum. Okay, but in fairness, uh -huh. Harari's probably... Uh, probably booked. Well, that, and he's also... With uh, uh, Jimmy Fallon. I'll sure, he's, he's, he's funnier than Stephen Colbert. <laughs> well, yeah, that's so. probably true. That's probably true. I mean, he's just... Colbert is just <laughs> a show. mouthpiece for just the a garbage regime show. now. Yep. But, I mean, is there any bigger indication of that than him having... Yuval Harari on the show? <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> you know, it's going to entertain Americans, especially the young people. Yeah. Is uh, Yuval Harari, the right hand guy at the World Economic Forum. Oh. They're going to love this guy. Can we get him? The, yeah. Oh, man. Uh, here's a little bit of that conversation to show you how entertaining it really was. I'm not that worried about AI. I just, I just doesn't get my blood going to get worried about AI. I think of some positive aspects of it. I mean, I've seen how humans have handled. Mm -hmm history and not great mm. and and so i'm ready for the you know big machines that make big decisions programmed by fellows with compassion and vision you know <laughs> I, I i'm ready for the machines to tell us what to Gosh. do mm -hmm. oh. are you uh not really it's it's extremely dangerous why is it to dangerous, give our though? power to something mm. we don't understand but they're just extensions of us i mean no they're, they're not we, yes they are we made them they're us yeah <laughs> Who? Harari talking Are... common sense to Colbert on this? Yeah, that's crazy. That's amazing. But <sighs> if if it's Donald Trump who is uh, programming the AI, are you still totally comfortable with it? Making the decisions for you? What kind of morons are these people? I'm guessing the answer to that is no. <sighs> yeah. yeah and that was so interesting how Colbert sets the premise that well, they're being programmed by really good guys, yeah. you know. Are, you, are they? Are you on crap? Uh, yes, you are. <laughs> yeah, he has to be. Man, people are just butt stupid. And, and really, the underlying thing in that is that Stephen Colbert has no use for freedom. He's like, ah, All right. whatever the machines tell me to do, I'll do. You know, whatever. I don't care. It sounds well, like that. Yeah, that's what he's doing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but, you know, those are the kind of dummies that we need in America right now. <laughs> Because we're heading down that path. Uh, here's a here's another dummy uh, personified. Oh, oh, yeah. What what clip is this? 16? 16, 16 <laughs> yep. But do you know? That you're a musician. But that's why I'm interviewing you today, so I can get to know you. So I'm a musician. Mm -hmm. What the f*** does that mean? Make magic or something? What is musician? <laughs> I think that's... I think you're confusing that. Yeah, I'm not no musician. I, I make music. Yeah. I make I, music. Um, pause it. Just really quick. Okay. Okay, she's confusing magician yeah. with musician. She just heard it wrong. But she <laughs> no, said. No, she didn't. She, she just actually heard it wrong. said she didn't. musician. She said musician. Back to her. She just heard it wrong. I, how, could, how dare you call me a musician when I make music? <laughs> so weird. <laughs> okay, Putin. That's, this is so weird. That's what a musician she just, does. She just heard it wrong. Uh, no, she didn't. No, she, she repeated was... it back to her. Start from the beginning. All right. Start the beginning. Here we but go. What do you know? That you're a musician. But that's why I'm interviewing you today, so I can get to know you. So I'm a musician. Mm -hmm. What the f*** does that mean? Make magic or something? <laughs> what is musician? I think that's... I think you're confusing that. Yeah, I'm not no musician. I, I make music. <laughs> I make I, music. I, um, just really quick, I think you're confusing... <laughs> I'm not confusing nothing because I, you, you don't know. I, you thought that all I wow. was was a magician or whatever the f*** you said. <laughs> See, that's what I think you think I said. No, I said musician, I think, not what, magician. I don't think, baby, but, I don't think. What I, is that? That's ghetto. I don't think. I know. Oh, that's obvious. So you, I know. You think. I, I didn't know. say magician, Suki. I said musician. Musician. You know what and I mean? And I think you it's are a, a musician. Who no, makes maybe. music. music. So you, just really, just really quick, for the record, could you say you don't think you're a musician? I'm not none of that. But then after that, you just said, I do music. <laughs> yeah, I do music. <laughs> so, in other words, you're a musician. No, I'm not. Oh, okay. my God. <laughs> we believe that's, that's real. incredible. We believe that's real. Yes. Okay. I do. More uh, real than the North Carolina voter. Uh, you know, if, no I had to leave it, if I had to decide between the two being real, I'd go with that one. Okay, I'll give you that, Keith. You're right. 
Wow. That is rough, man. No kidding. Baby, I don't think. That's yeah, we, we noticed know. you don't Barry, think. I know. I love how she says, it's ghetto, it's to, ghetto think. to think. What in the world? Help us. I mean, this is, I mean, this is idiotic. Like, honestly, like, what logic is that that is ghetto I to think? I Where do you go with the interview after you that? Don't. You don't. You're like, well, you're you just don't. like, okay, you, you know what? It. We're all yeah. out of time. <laughs> all out of Actually, time. Actually, no, I would just keep letting him talk. Yeah, oh my that's, God. Fair. that's fair. Yeah, I'd just be like, what else Stupid. can you? Stupid. Yeah. <laughs> frightening. <laughs> that's just frightening. It is. Come on now. Seriously? Baby, I don't think. <laughs> Thinking is ghetto. Thinking yeah. is uh, ghetto. Uh, all right. I know. Mm. Mm-hmm. I know. So the, I'm not a musician. I, I make, make music. music. <laughs> <laughs> so what, like I'm a magician or something? What, I make you laugh? <laughs> oh, that's a good I'm one. not a magician. I make magic. Right. Oh, well, wait. No. <sighs> <laughs> I'm not a plumber. I fix pipes. <laughs> what are you talking about? I, I'm not a carpenter. I I do framing work. I I build things with wood. <laughs> we I, are in hell. You're not a radio host. You I'm just not a radio, radio host. I just I talk yeah. on the radio. <laughs> I'm not a talker. I just talk for a living. I'm not a chef. I cook things. Yeah, that's okay. All right. All right. Sorry, I didn't mean to. But you're oh, right, though. Actually, actually, that one she would say, "I'm not a cook. I cook things." <laughs> Yeah, that's true. She is. Holy cow. I, did we ever figure out who that seriously was? Seriously. Like, I don't know who amazing. that is. Uh, wow. No, I don't know the interviewer or the interviewee. So the, new, the interviewer is Bobby Altoff. Okay. Right. She's the one that I've got, um, she got, uh, I think it was like last week, they did a deep fake, so a deep fake of a sex tape of her. Mm. So. She did it? No, no, no like it someone did it. About her. About her. Okay. Of a sex tape. Yeah. Um, and it was pretty bad, according to the people that saw it. <laughs> I could I not mean, find it. I could not. I was so upset. When you say bad. According to the When you say bad. I don't know. I don't know. I did not see it. I, I tried to look for it. It keeps telling me that I can't. Yeah, you got you to gotta catch wow. those early, man, before they get banned. It was like it was like the Taylor Swift fake AIs. Yeah. You like, gotta those were gone early, so man. quickly. Yeah. Yeah. All right. You got to catch those early or you miss the boat. Damn, damn internet. Man. All right. Uh, if you want to tap the brakes on your aging process, I mean, every day that passes, you lose testosterone for men. Uh, that means less muscle and less energy. If you're really ready to lose all that, then, you know, don't do anything. Yeah, sit around. Uh, it's a great way to go. Or you could do the, my, what my son has done because he just turned 40 recently. And, uh, well, I guess he's 41 now. So he's turned 41 now. And he was realizing, you know, he's more sore for longer periods of time after workouts. It's harder to did, build did the muscle mass. Welcome. Yeah, I did. I did. And then I said, you know what you should try is Nugenics. Which he did, and he loves it. So uh, you can get a complimentary bottle right now of Nugenics Total Tea. When you just text 231231, enter the keyword unleashed. Text now, and you'll get a bottle of Nugenics Thermo X, too. The newest and most powerful fat incinerator ever with key ingredients to help you lose weight fast and get lean. Absolutely free. Texting enrolls you into recurring automated text messages. Consent not required to purchase. Message and data rates may apply. Number one recommended brand by primary care physicians based on an independent survey conducted by IQVIA in 2022. So check, uh, just text 231231. Enter the keyword unleashed. 231231. Keyword unleashed. Do it today. This is Pat Gray Unleashed. Uh, we got a whole bunch of uh, Jeffies walking around to show their support for women. Uh, solidarity <laughs> for female victims what? of uh, gendered violence. <laughs> and you know, this is I mean, this is Jeffy to a T. So they walked around in red heels uh, oh, to, to make the point. Oh, that's, that's awesome. Good. Isn't that beautiful? That's solidarity awesome. with... Yeah. Women. Here's a look. Uh, there they are, walking around. In, oh boy, that looks in red high heels. Really, no, that, that was, that's adorable. That, those are difficult to walk around in. <laughs> yeah, they're finding. Tell that. us about it, Jeff. I, I think they're they're realizing that right now. Oh I've God. worn heels on several like, different occasions. Tell, and, tell uh, us the most recent, <clears throat> so like this weekend, right? 
When was the last time you wore a pair of heels, Jeff it's Fisher? I wore red heels this weekend in solidarity. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Look, even the chicks aren't wearing heels. <laughs> They're like, nah, we hey, got... Yeah, we know better. Uh, we only do this when we really must. So what you boneheads, that? go ahead. Nothing so says manly like a cop wearing heels. I know. <laughs> this is in solidarity with whom? Sure. Females. Gendered violence. Gendered, Gendered oh, violence. So not it female violence. It may or may not be women that yeah. they're standing with. All right. Yeah, it's gendered, so it could be a tranny. That's great. Okay, so that's probably more what it's about, right? Yes. Than supporting women, actual women. Mm -hmm. It's not a thing anymore, really. Oh, right? my gosh. That makes it even better. Now it's I mean, even more. I'm curious as now solid with them. How now high are the yeah. heels that Jeff Fisher wears? Some kind of hung up on this. Just those. Just, 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 just three inches. Three or four yeah. inches. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Nothing ridiculous. What's your problem? I would like to see. I would like to see you in heels. I want to see how long the heel lasts. Does it snap? Is it made out of stainless steel? Like hmm. what kind of heels are you Why in? Why would it snap? <laughs> Let me eat. When you walk on them properly, it's fine. Okay, we're doing mm -hmm. a social media, a media video later today, yep. Chris, with Jeff Fisher in high heels. <laughs> Find a woman in this building that doesn't mind uh, risking her heels uh, under Jeffy. Well, first of all, oh, no. first of all, yes. uh, go ahead. It's first very difficult to find a size 13 female shoe heel. <laughs> is that what your foot is? Size 13? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure. Very difficult. All right. Well, that so that's why we're not going to be able to do the heels Shoot. Uh, today. I still Shoot. may have a pair here. Uh oh, that, oh. I, that I wore uh, <laughs> worn in the past. Mm -hmm. Are they steel I... reinforced? It's like steel girders. Answer the question. Supporting the. Let me eat. Why would they? Because I just what? want your. I want your your instep to be supported. That's right. all. He's yeah, just looking just, out for you, bro. I'm just looking out for you. Yeah. yeah. I don't want your feet to be uh, sore you. afterwards. Thank you. I guess. Yeah. You're welcome. You're welcome. We're always looking up for you. You know that. Reinforced. Yeah, I feel like steel. they're breaking the show rules or something. No, what? what you, no, about that footwear. Uh, footwear talk doesn't. No, that's, that's not, not part of our. Huh? Our. Uh, <laughs> or what? I feel like. Or what? I feel like it is. There's been no, no. agreement. No. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, Wait, are you, are you are you alleging fat shaming? Because that's absolutely not. Oh no. What oh, my intent no. was on that. Wow, Sir. that shows your own bias there, wow. Mr. Fisher. Yeah, we don't want you to roll an ankle. Yeah, wow. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. Right. We're just okay. looking out for Concerned you, Concerned about you Again, and your thank welfare. You, You're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, all right. There are illegals all over the country at this point. We know that. And uh, there's a migrant hotel in Arizona. Oh. Somebody sneaked a camera in there. Um, and uh, here's a look. We are here in Tucson, Arizona. Right behind me is a shelter that is being used to house illegal immigrants right here. We have my good friend. Cesar. We're going to be sending Cesar in. He's got a bunch of cameras on him. And he's going to be showing us what it's really like inside of the shelter. Okay. Bien suerte, mi amigo. Vamos. <laughs> this is one of the many hotels Vamos. that has been transformed into a shelter to house all these migrants here in Arizona. Mm -hmm. okay. Hey, where, where from? Mexico. Uh, Senegal. Senegal. Yeah, Senegal. 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 I, I like smoke. No smoke. Ah, smoke? Mm. Oh. <laughs> Amigo, how are you? Mexico. You? Africa. Africa? What part? Guinea. Where are you, amigo? Where are you? Where? Senegal. 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 My friend Caesar managed to sneak into where they are all sleeping, and the bathrooms were absolutely mm. trashed. Later Wait, that night, I went back to see if I could get in, but as I got closer to the hotel, a new arrival of migrants had yeah, just you're been white, dropped bro. off at the hotel. You're white. You're not. How are you guys? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. As the migrants were getting their rooms for the night, mm. a worker came and verbally attacked me. Oh. Are you even supposed to be here? What do you mean? I can't like come look. No, like, this is private property right now. It's for immigrants. Okay. Yeah, I'll leave. Well, then get the f out of here. The okay. f we're gonna call the cops. No, okay. No, no, bajamos del camión y que Yeah. Have a good one. What do you mean? What? And she did call the cops on me, and another bus of migrants arrived. <laughs> Is that a bus filled with so, illegal immigrants behind you? I'm not sure. Um, you know it's no. a bus. Don't lie to me. All right, guys, do you guys have any other questions about yes. do you, why did you trespassing just and going on the property? property? Is that a bus filled with illegal immigrants? Sir, I'm not on the bus. I, I've heard that before. We've heard that before. I'm not on the bus. How would I know?
what's on the bus. <laughs> Remember that? Yeah. Remember the guy with the camera and the two yeah. cops sitting there? I don't know who's on the bus. Right. You so oh man. So many people are selling their souls for this wow. destruction of our nation. And you can't even look into it. Mm-mm. No. You can't film it. You can't talk about it. You can't ask them about it. And all of a sudden, you're the bad person for asking, yeah. what is going on here? How often does this happen? How well, many people are being accommodated? We're uh, seeing reports now that the federal government wow. actually aided in bringing in immigrants, right? Uh, so oh, yeah. To the ease, plane loads of... Yeah, to ease... The yeah. uh, crossing at the borders, right? Oh, we're getting good. them we're early them and bringing them in. Yeah, yeah. Which what is, we should do which is, is good. Yeah, we need to send a bunch of planes all over the world. You know, the cargo planes, I'm, where you can seat—I don't know—four hundred, five hundred, six hundred people at a time. Send them to Guatemala. I'm not send a, them to fine U- Ukraine and Russia and China. Fine, and let's fly I, them. All I'm in. okay with that. I don't want them to have to walk here. That's rude. See, you're thoughtful. Right, mm-hmm. right. I and care about then we, people. Then we have Mayor Adams in New York saying, right, that it's saving Jeez, his man. city money by giving the immigrants their uh, gift card, right? He just they're giving them gift cards, mm-hmm. and that saves the city money because they don't have to set up uh, places for them to eat and places for them to get uh, other goods. Yeah, that and way services. they can go wherever they want. Yeah, yeah, that's good. That's good. All right. Well. Brilliant plan, uh, Mayor Adams. I mean, that's great. <laughs> we are. There's a word. We're in that, so much trouble. Doomed. doomed even is yeah. The word. Even Democrat John Fetterman kind of understands <laughs> that he was talking about the Democrat plan for the border, and he doesn't think it goes far enough. But that's only because it doesn't. <laughs> yeah. Here's what he had to say. At least I, as a Democrat, you know, am, am willing and eager to go stronger than the, the border deal uh, that, that was here. It might be actually appropriate, given the, the circumstance here at, hmm. at the border. Mm-hmm. Hmm. <sighs> okay, so... He's still struggling. He, he, well, he's struggling, but he's also still voting like a good liberal. Yeah, he is. It's like when push yes, comes to shove, he's not... Though That kind of talk... As much as we enjoy the clips, yeah, that's not translating into conservative votes. No way. No, it's too bad. Because I think he's starting to wake up a bit, a little bit, from maybe. What? Be specific. No, no, no. John Fetterman is waking up from what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, from his coma? There you go. <laughs> from his progressive coma? <laughs> Jeez. Uh, well, the illegals are coming in taking uh, jobs from his constituents, right? So he's pissed about that. Well, he is. Yeah, he's mm-hmm. pissed about that. He's also a big, I don't know how this happened, but he's a big-time supporter of Israel. And he's really pissed off about that's what's going stuff. on there. That's, that's fun really stuff. fun. Yeah, yeah, I like that a lot. Um, so, Wait, hold on a second. We were talking about polling earlier, and Chris has had this clip here for a couple of days mm-hmm. here. I Have you seen this? Uh, Chris, what's this? Americans can't stand Joe Biden? Yes, yeah, this is a CNN poll saying that Americans oh. can't stand Joe Biden. Really? I'd like to see this. Yep. All right, let's see it. Clip 19. These are the numbers that are troubling for the president. Here's one mm-hmm. from the new New York Times Siena College poll. See, look, look is that's President the poll Biden we talked too old about. to be an effective mm-hmm. president? Among all voters, 73% say yes, 25% say no. Too old. Here's the troubling part. Even in troubling. his own party, the president needs big Democratic turnout in the fall. Right. More than half, 56% of Democrats say they think he's too old to be an effective president. 43% say no. So that is one challenge for the president wow. as he runs out the uh. primary season, as he gives that big speech uh, Thursday night. Address yeah. that. Uh, the problems are deeper for the president. Again, uh, he is the deeper. incumbent president. Okay. 24% yeah. of Americans say the country's on the right track. Oh, Two-thirds. my gosh. Two-thirds. I'd like to know say why it is not. 65% so say the country <laughs> is on the wrong track as the president prepares to deliver his State of the Union address. One more. Oh, that's Incumbents right. are often judged by their approval rate. Tomorrow you start night. to get that's eight be months great. out from an election. Isn't that, that, that's yep. a problem. That's a problem. That's, that's the number the president has to change. 36% approve of his performance right now in office. 61% ah. disapprove. That means a lot of Democrats. Yeah. Uh, check the polls, Jack. <laughs> that is the check only thing the missing from that clip was a Jack. Yeah. Check the polls, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got Joe Dinkleberry wow. by tomorrow night. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. State of the Union. You know how agonizing that's going to be. going to be terrible. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait to see if he can hold it together for There's an no hour. There's no way. There's no way, There's right? There's no way. There's got to be some major screw-ups it's gotta in be that. Short. It's got to be a short speech, right? Well, he it has posted. to be because the first, after five minutes, oh, he's, he's out. Yeah, he's, he's worn done. down. It's yeah. over. He posted on social media him practicing 
the speech. Oh, he did? Yeah, and then there's That's a weird. picture of him with the binder open and the size font. And mm -hmm. I looked at him like, no way. No way he's reading from that size font. <laughs> It was like 12 point. Uh -huh, I'm like, no uh -huh, way Joe no, Biden is no, reading 12 no point. No, it's more like 72. 172. 172, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Maybe you got a special font for the president yeah, only. Uh, maybe it's <laughs> one letter a page. magnifying Bro, glass. I can't wait. Going forward, uh, Microsoft Word's going to have a special font, and it's going to be called Joe Biden. presidential. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and it's going to be 500 <laughs> points. <laughs> Oh, man. All right. That'll be fun. Well, on a happy note, uh, I will say this. BYU plays Iowa State tonight, trying to beat their third top 10 opponent of mm. the year. Uh, <laughs> six ranked teams over the course of the year. Uh, that's happening tonight. All right. They, I can't believe you're talking about college basketball again. Yeah, that's twice basketball. this weekend. You did not mention Caitlin Clark setting the record this weekend. And Caitlin Clark set the record. What is your problem? Last I have been getting notifications about what Caitlin Clark deal? setting records every day, it seems, for a month. She can this, shoot. Has I she will gotten everything accomplished yet? No, she hasn't. Uh, I looked up her percentage of because they're acting like she's the greatest three point shooter of all time. Her percentage of three point shots this year is 40. She's oh. like a little bit under 40%, which is good. But it's not, you know, otherworldly. All right, we're done. Uh, <laughs> so what record did she just set? The all-time, like, men and women's NCAA? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I think so, yeah. So good for her. So you there's another know? basketball thing. Pistol Pete? Is wow. that how she passed? That's correct. Okay. <laughs> wow. You guys, cool. man. I yeah. can't and wait for her to be in the WNBA. Wrong, right? yeah. Perhaps <laughs> more coming up on overtime on this and so much more. We'll see you back here uh, tomorrow. God save the queen, man. This is Pat Gray, Unleashed.